Color of the sun at sunrise and sunset. Let us do an activity to understand the blue color of the sky and the reddish appearance of the sun at the sunrise or sunset. Place a strong source S of white light at the focus of a converging lens L1. This lens provides a parallel beam of light. Allow the beam of light to pass through a transparent glass tank T containing clear water. Allow the beam of light to pass through a circular hole C made in a cardboard. Obtain a sharp image of the circular hole on a screen MN using a second converging lens L2 as shown here. Dissolve about 200 grams of sodium thiosulfate hypo in about 2 liters of clean water taken in the tank. Add about 1 to 2 milliliter of concentrated sulfuric acid to the water. What do you observe? You will find the fine microscopic sulfur particles precipitating in about 2 to 3 minutes. As the sulfur particles begin to form, you can observe the blue light from the three sides of the glass tank. This is due to the scattering of short wavelengths by minute colloidal sulfur particles. Observe the color of the transmitted light from the fourth side of the glass tank, the circular hole. It is interesting to observe at first the orange red color and then the bright crimson red color on the screen. This activity demonstrates the scattering of light that helps you to understand the bluish color of the sky and the reddish appearance of the sun at the sunrise or the sunset. Light from the sun near the horizon passes through the thicker layers of air and larger distance in the earth's atmosphere before reaching our eyes. However, light from the sun overhead would travel relatively shorter distance. At noon, the sun appears white as only a little of the blue and violet colors are scattered. Near the horizon, most of the blue light and shorter wavelengths are scattered away by the particles. Therefore, the light that reaches our eyes is of longer wavelengths. This gives rise to the reddish appearance of the sun.